Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete Google Kubernetes Engine clusters in GCP using Terraform. I have logged into my Google Cloud account. First let's go and verify whether we have any Kubernetes Engine clusters already exist in this account. Click Kubernetes Engine here. We don't have any clusters in this account. I am going to use Visual Studio Code Editor for adding my Terraform code. So already I have created a service account and provided the necessary permission to create a Kubernetes cluster and I have created the keys for that particular service account and downloaded the keys here. So the keys.json has the necessary information to connect to the GCP and create a Google Kubernetes engine cluster. Okay, first I am going to create the providers.tf file providers.tf okay so first we are going to add the terraform module required providers right so we are going to add the provider google okay so we need to provide the source so which is going to be hashicorp slash google So next we need to provide the version, version is going to be 5.18.0, okay. So we are all good. So next we add the provider information, provider this is going to be Google and here we are going to, first we need to add the project, okay. So the project is suptm hyphen surf. 407213 okay so then the region i'm going to give us us center one okay then we are going to provide the credentials so already we have the file so i'm just going to give the keys.json here okay so all good i'm going to save the changes so now i'm going to add the main.tf file so this is where we are going to provide the information for creating the GKE cluster okay so this resource we need to give the resource name as google container cluster okay and then i'm going to call this as demo okay first we need to give the name name for the cluster i'm going to call it as demo cluster okay then the location so this i'm going to give it as us central one i can see okay this i'm giving with the specific zone okay then we'll need to add the information related to the node pool okay so here we are going to the name i'm going to use the name as default okay and the node count we'll give it as two okay then the node config so here we'll just give the machine type okay machine type i'll give it as e2 micro okay it's all good so i'm going to add one more information which is going to be the deletion protection i'm going to set it as false by default it will be true so which means if i try to delete this cluster using the terraform destroy it will not get deleted okay so now everything is good i'm going to save the changes okay so now we are going to do a terraform in it terminal new terminal first let's do a terraform in it okay the hash of google version 5.18.0 got successfully initialized okay so now we will do a terraform validate to check whether everything is proper yeah the configuration is valid so now let's do a terraform plan okay so it says it is going to create one resource that is the google container cluster okay so now let's do a terraform apply okay so it is asking for our approval yes so now it is creating the gke cluster it takes few minutes for creating the cluster the GK cluster demo cluster has been successfully created after six minutes. Let's go and review that in the UI. Refresh. 
so we could see the demo cluster here like that so let's review the configuration yes it has got created in the us central 1c okay so here you could see the other informations related to the cluster here okay click nodes so we could see the node pool it has number of nodes is 2 that's what we defined and the machine type is e2 micro and here you can see the individual node information here okay so here you'll be able to see the storage information and here you'll be able to see the other metrics here okay and here you will be able to see the cluster logs okay now let us see how to delete this gke cluster using terraform terraform destroy you need to provide approval so now the demo cluster which we created is getting destroyed again this is also going to take a couple of minutes the GK cluster demo cluster has been successfully deleted. Let's validate that in the UI. So we could see that the demo cluster has been successfully deleted. In this demo, we have seen how to create and delete Google Kubernetes engine cluster in GCP using Terraform. If you like this demo, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the demo.